From Atlanta, I'm Mike Pachenik with your Augusta Business Daily, Georgia Business Minute. A COVID catch-22. Watchdogs are crying foul over rampant fraud in a program designed to help small businesses, including thousands here in Georgia. The Paytech Protection Program provided millions of relief dollars to struggling businesses. The feds concede dozens of them lied and cheated to get that money. And prosecutors are going after many of them. Some lawmakers are now calling for tighter controls. Assembly expansion on hold. Great Television, the parent company of WRDW and WAGT in Augusta, says it is putting the brakes on expansion of Assembly Atlanta. That's the 135-acre film and television studio project in Doraville. The Atlanta Business Chronicle reports that is due to a turbulent real estate market. And finally, delivery decree. Peach State lawmakers are looking to crack down on third-party food delivery companies. Restaurant owners complained Uber Eats and DoorDash ran ads featuring their names and claimed relationships that didn't exist. A Senate bill would end such practices in Georgia and require food delivery apps to contract with restaurants before delivering their meals. For more great stories, head to AugustaBusinessDaily.com. For Augusta Business Daily's Georgia Business Minute, I'm Mike Pachenik.